Over the past four weeks, Alexis has talked about the it just so happened moments in our lives. She inspired us to put all these experiences together to help us understand our purpose. When I think about the just so happened moments in my life anyways, I think about another phrase, can it be? Can it be that I'm not meant to play this part? Can it be that if I were to truly be myself, I would lose my friends? Can it be my reflection is someone I don't know? Can it be that I cannot hide who I am, though I've tried? Can it be that someday my reflection will show who I am inside? At some point, we have to decide, are we gonna be who we wanna be and do the things that we were created to do? Or are we just gonna be and do what everyone else wants us to be and do? Living a life of more requires an aggressive pursuit of our purpose. You know, I'm not going to break out the Jenga pieces and tell you that it just so happened moments in my life, but I would like to share a lesson that I learned while I was in high school. So all throughout junior high and the first two years of high school, I know who I was and I knew who I wanted to be. Unfortunately, though, I became so focused on my friend group around me and being liked by them and being accepted that eventually I stopped pursuing what I wanted to do and who I wanted to be. Then, my junior year, I lost all those friends. You know, I can't tell you how many times I cried myself to sleep or how many lunches I would just sit there crying. Um, you know, my world was falling apart and all I could do was just sit there and watch it crumble. You know, I'd given up so much of who I was to be part of this friend group that eventually I lost both my friends and who I was. You know, but this is the third year that I've been leading the station game. You know, and to you guys, it's just five minutes with your friends where you can laugh and have fun. You know, but to me, it was a life raft. My junior year, I was drowning and being a part of something big, you know, even though I was abandoned by my friends and I had lost my way, but because I knew that I mattered to the other station leaders and that I was a part of something more important. And now I'm having so much fun going to college and working here as an intern at North Point, all because my senior year I found my purpose again. I found, I started doing what I wanted to do and being who I wanted to be all because it just so happened that one day during my junior year, Mr. Gao came in and he ruined my perfect life, all because he put me in the station leadership team that I didn't want to be in. And it just so happened that shortly after he did that, my world fell apart. And it just so happened that because I had responsibilities to the station each week, I couldn't give up. And two years later, can it be that my reflection will show who I am inside? Absolutely. <laughs> During our Made For More series, we've unpacked a lot of things that hopefully have inspired you. But in for preparation for today, you know, I went online to our website and I watched Alexis's four talks. As I watched each week's talks, you know, three thoughts kept coming through my head and I want to share with them this to you as a kind of a recap of everything we've presented to you during this series. Number one, stop living for others. Number two, trace and embrace your moments. And number three, move towards your purpose. Number one, stop living for others. Alexis talked about in the first week that we need to pull away from social media and the norm that living for others is okay and even expected. You know, she talked about that we need to motivate ourselves. Do you remember that cat video she showed you? Well, how many, how many times this week did you find yourself looking for something, but by the end had no clue what you were looking at? You know, you guys may not think that it's a big deal or that you can handle it, but growing up, I was always told, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Eventually, you're going to have to start doing things for yourself because nobody's going to do them for you. Number two, trace and embrace your moments. Throughout Alexis's talks on aspirations and determination, she kept pointing to us a simple thought. We are the only ones who can know our purpose. 
others, including our parents, you know, our friends, they can try and influence who we decide to be or even what we decide to do. But if we do, ultimately, we have to decide for ourselves. And if we do, we have a shot at a fulfilling life. And if we don't, and we let others decide that for us, then we are destined for a life of the could have, should have, would have. Yes, it's easier right now to go with the flow, but eventually the flow will drown you. So you guys need to trace now all of your it just will happen moments and keep track of them so you can know your purpose and never let it go. Number three, move towards your purpose. Alexis said so many times that we need to make a plan. And it's true, you need to make a plan. If you figure out what you want to do, but don't make a way to get there, you will never be any closer than you were yesterday. There's different types of plans, short-term and long-term. Like a short-term plan, if you want to stop eating candy, then make reminders every day and have a game plan to get there. And if your long-term plan is nursing like mine is, then every day needs to be spent focusing on this plan. You guys, you know, you think you have so much time, but in one, two years, some of you will be starting high school, and before you know that, graduation is right around the corner, and what will you have done? The other day, while Mr. Gao was passionately redirecting us, he said, I can't soar with turkeys. And we all busted up laughing because that, that just wasn't how the saying went, he had no idea. The saying is, you can't soar with falcons if you live with turkeys. Guys, don't try to do this on your own. You know, find the right people who support your plan and support who you want to be. And tell them what you want and find people who are going to keep you accountable. You were made for more. So stop living for others, trace and embrace your moments, and move towards your plan. Peace out.